And how are you this lovely day? Welcome to the live stream. My name is Pamela Stewart. I'm an author of young adult science fiction and fantasy. And today we're going to do some Pomodoro to style awesome sprints to get your either your manuscript or whatever creative work you're working on done. And I see that there's already, already challenges going on <laughs> in the comments section. So I am excited to get this party started. And of course, as the moment I say these words, the song goes in my head. So I hope y'all, well, hello, Rose. Hello, Shadow. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back, all my friends. Chloe, oh yes, she's throwing down. You are an incredible sprinter and I look forward to seeing your numbers this time because I feel like just getting better all the time, just getting better. We're all just getting better. Every time we do this, we're, we're improving. It's like a muscle. We're like flexing and getting a little stronger every time. So you guys are gonna rock out loud. <laughs> so how has your week been? I'm sorry, I was gonna do a stream this week, but I had somebody helping me with thumbnails, et cetera, and uh, their computer went down. So I ended up having to do a lot of more behind the scenes things. So I didn't get to schedule the live stream during the week, but I'm hoping to keep doing that forthcoming and then September and then into prep tour. Ah, prep -tober. It's almost here. Hey, Pam Pam. Yes, rock on with the Pam Pam. Or yeah, hang loose. Am I, are we gonna hang loose? Are we gonna shout out the devil? Because this is very <laughs> dated references. <laughs> Oh, all right. So what's your drink of choice today? I'm back on the mint tea because, friends, it is going into my very favorite season and the weather is turned a little chillier and fall is on the horizon and I can drink my warm drinks and pull out my sweaters, although I'm not quite the sweaters yet. But I do have something fun. Check this out. Tell me, tell me that's not the best shirt for this live stream. Tell me it's not, because honestly, I about died. <laughs> Sorry, the small things in life is to get you excited. Pam Pam! Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone, and greetings and welcome to the live stream. I'm going to tell you the secret of having good mint tea before we get into our first sprint. You know what this is? This is real mint. I have a mint plant outside and it's still doing very well. So I, I pull some off sometimes and I make sure you squeeze it a little bit to kind of activate the mint. But I'm trying not to do caffeine in the afternoons. And so this is a chocolate mint tea and it's amazing. It's amazing. And even if it's not, if I keep saying it's amazing, my brain is going to process that. Well, hello, Barb. Hello, Daya. Hello. Yay, I know unicorn shirt. Uh, this is, uh, yes, it's my favorite. Hello, hello. Ooh, I love your new avatar. Is that, are we, are, is that the book two? Is that the book two that you've been working on? Oh, and what projects are you working on? I am done with Space Pirate Rising. So yay, it is off to the beta readers and uh, I'm gonna get it edited and formatted. And I actually might get that one out before Cadet because uh, it's been a rough week guys, but I'm I'm maintaining my positive attitude. Um, work is, my day job has really went off the charts on busyness. So I'm thinking that uh, do, trying to do a book launch. I used to have an assistant that did a lot of things for me and she uh, got a real job. <laughs> so I'm having to do, you know, all the creative work, but that's also ad, all the admin work too. So it's a lot when you think about having to do advertising and formatting and getting hardback books and, um, you know, seeing how it all turns out. So it's really hard. Yay, book two. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Everyone check out Barb's cover. It is gorgeous. I'm reading through the comments. So share what you're working on. 
are you back on the the fantasy out there? You got some fantasy books going, or are we working on a on the screenplay this week? Working on book two. What's your projects? What are you drinking? Come on, let's see. I know you're all interested in the unicorn horn. Right now, it's on my head. Okay, you have to earn this unicorn horn. <laughs> And in the week I've had, I'll tell you, but I'm again, giving myself grace. And that's one of the lessons I'm learning in this year of, of uh, self-discovery and being home and, and having to navel gaze a little bit and do some meditation. Um, today, I spend a lot of the day, which I should have been doing a newsletter and stuff. I spent a lot of the day just doing meditation and taking a walk. And just getting back into my own headspace, uh, I read some books. So I feel like more like Pam again. And my positive attitude has been restored. Uh, so I want to suggest that to you. If you're ever feeling overwhelmed, you know, just unhook from the crazy train. <laughs> Don't get on the internet, whatever you do. Pull out a, a real paperback book and read for a while and do some lovely meditations. I, I highly suggest the Calm app. It has helped me tremendously. Uh, what else? Oh, and this is, um, well, this is more about finding more, more, more productivity, but another little lesson I learned this week was that if I didn't drink caffeine first thing in the morning, but I took it a little bit later, like at 10, instead of like six in the morning when I usually get up, uh, or five, you know, I've moved it to 10, which is difficult, but it actually works better because your natural cortisol is high in the morning. So you're kind of like double dosing yourself if you're taking it first thing because your body's trying to naturally wake itself up and the caffeine's kind of messing that up. So if you wait a little bit to take your caffeine, like an hour or two after you get up, it actually helps you more and stay focused. So that's a good, hopefully, hopefully that's a good tip. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The daughter of darkness. And again, I'm going to tell you that sounds fantastic. And we're doing to the YA fantasy chapter. Oh, 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 it's the last chapter. Okay. All right. I, you got to finish it on the stream. We're doing it, man. We're doing it. Yep. Well, maybe that, you know, the coffee strategically placed can really help you. It will help motivate you. And having a good idea of where you want your future to go. Like, I'm very focused on trying to make a living from my writing. So even though the creative thing comes first, I'm always focused on, like, when can I launch this? When can I get it out to the public? How am I going to reach the public? Like I have two hats or two, two horns as it were <laughs> that I interchange. And uh, I have to be both those people if I want to actually make a career in writing. So it keeps me motivated to think that the only way I'm actually going to get in front of people and get people to read my books is to get them done and get them out. And if they don't like the last one, then you write the next one and hopefully that will find its audience. So that's sort of a good strategy. Just kind of think about where you want your career to go as well as the book. Like start doing some big picture dreaming. And caffeine's always helpful for that. Yep, yep. Get the coffee. Get the coffee because we're about ready to start our first sprint of the day. And we might not see Ka uh, little uh, Cassie because I've, the little bird told me that her phone was messed up and she's, um, was having some issues with technology. Uh, so we will see if our Miss Cassie will show up, but I'm happy that you're all here. I'm happy you're all motivated. Uh, I'm certain, I certainly am. And I've not got uh, into, we're, I'm going back into Gadot today and taking the editor's feedback and I'm going to implement it. And if you see my face getting like this, that's why, because I'm like, at this point, I hate changing anything, but, you know, make it better. Cut those words. Fix those awkward sentences. This is the final polish before I send the big book out. <sighs> yes. Yeah, our sweet Cassie. Yes, I love her. But I know she's already contacted me and kind of told me that she was having issues. So, 
Oh, I I would love it. I would love it. It's a debut story too. I'm so proud of you guys. Just working so hard to get this done. And I am literally the slowest writer in the world. And these sprints really get me hopping, hopping, hopping. All right, we're almost 10 minutes in. And if we want to eat dinner <laughs> later, then we're going to have to get going now. Also, I want to throw it out there that um, if you guys want to do these sprints earlier, uh, let me know. Because... I have been considering moving them a little earlier in the day, so it might be better so it doesn't like run into people's dinner times and things. So let me know in the comments. I would appreciate any feedback you guys have. Oh, you did your Zoom? You're already good to go. All right. Oh, and you, I didn't know you were doing a podcast. That's wonderful. I have to go and look you up. Okay, guys. I know that... We are ready to challenge each other because I've seen the fire in your eyes and your words are really clear. So someone's going to get beat. <laughs> and that is also lyrics to beat it, Michael Jackson said. For those of you who did not know that reference. <laughs> Oliver and Batinga have been dosed again. We're going to see how this goes. But you might see some guest stars because they they've been rowdy. They've been they've been rowdy today. Let's see if I remember how to do these streams. I'm already singing. That does not bode well for you. You're gonna hear. I will not sing during the actual stream unless it's requested. <laughs> and there's a song given to me. We're gonna call it the karaoke stream. <laughs> And uh, yeah, beat it, da, 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 beat it. All right, I feel it. The fire's in your eyes, everyone. I want you to throw out your best effort. This is number one. We are getting warmed up. We're not gonna do the, the florist challenge yet unless you guys are, are game. This is just getting your fingers warm. Think about what you wanna write. Get your word processors up. You've had enough time to get your drinks. This is your daily kick in the pants. And Oliver's being good. So this is my golden, golden hour of opportunity to get this done. So we're gonna do Pomodoro number one. Are you ready? Is everyone ready? Ready, ready, ready. I feel like this is going to be a good one, though. This is going to be a good one. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Come on. Let's get pepped up. Let's get fired up. Let's go. Two, three. Let's get fired up. Let's go. 25 minutes. That's all you're going to do is focus on your writing for the next 25 minutes. Whatever creative product you're working, you can give it this 25 minutes with com complete and utter focus. Do it for me. Do it for yourself. Do it for the horn. All right, guys, we're about ready. Please ignore any singing or facial expressions unless you find it entertaining because I will be feeling pain. On your mark. Get set. Sprint.
And that, my friends, is time. The very first sprint is done. Your first Pomodoro is in the bag. How did you do? Share in the comments. Share it in the comments. I really want to know. Show me your numbers. Show me your numbers. Show me your numbers for those of you who came late you have i have to show you the unicorn shirt of success <laughs> when i saw it it had to be mine i was very 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 eager to get this shirt <laughs> unicorns i'm gonna have to write my next story my next series is gonna have to have fantasy and i'm gonna have to get bring unicorns in because now it's a it's my thing do i get to oh chloe the horn is calling my name. <laughs> oh, hail Chloe. You get, gonna get some fingers. Go, go, Chloe. Go, 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 Chloe. Go, go, Chloe. Go, 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 Chloe. And I'm wondering how our friend Shadowheart did. Any number is a good number, it means you worked. You don't necessarily have to be Chloe, but it would be fun and exciting for you if you did. I think 400 words into 25 on the first sprint. Damn. Wow, Squizzums, you came in late. Yeah, editing. That's what I'm doing. But I got through a chapter and a half of, well, these are final edits. I'm just kind of accepting most of the edits. You know, look at that, Shadow. Look at that. You did really good. Oh, my God. And you, everyone was so distracted. But um, you did a fantastic job. And all of you, wow, these numbers are incredible. Incredible numbers. 342, 398, and 328. All of them. Amazing. And I'm going to give you, you've been awarded. Hold on. Here we go. The official drum roll, please. Da! I wish I could do special effects because I would like make glitter and stuff and like confetti streams. Just imagine because you're writers, you can do this. Confetti glitter streams just coming down like leaves off the tree that I'm looking at right here out my window. Because it's full. Everyone, tell me what you're working with. What did you do? Oh, 200. Go, Daya. Go, Daya. Go, 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 Daya. Go, 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 go. I'm so happy for you. Go, go, go. Oh, you got like a rock beat going on. Dun, 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 dun. It's like 70s jam. Bum, 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 bum. Down, down, down. Yeah, for some reason, Chloe and Shadow are, are 80s rock, but you got some 70s cool, cool jazz funk going. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Everyone did so good. You all are fantastic. Welcome to the Pam Fam. This is how we do it. We encourage each other and challenge each other, and we do a good job. Yay! Everyone did good. Yeah, Cassie has contacted me separately and said that she... Um, she her phone was giving her issues and she's getting a new one but it has not come yet so unfortunately our friend cassandra might not show it show up today but she's here in spirit our our original fam the original pam fam yay everyone did amazing i am so happy for all of you thank you for encouraging me and i hope that this is good for you if you are watching and you are new to the live stream, please feel free to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. 
And then you can enjoy, you can become part of the Pan Fam. And I will do songs for you and cheer and give you unicorn horns and, and hopefully bring some knowledge occasionally, some motivation and make Saturdays and possibly potentially during the week a little less uh, lonely while you're doing your sprints, a little more motivating because when you do something together and we're all working towards a common purpose, it makes it easier. I know my sweet Cassie, yes, she's not here today, but I'm sure she's here in spirit. She loves these streams. She's our, our little cheerleader. All right, so have you guys had any opinions about doing any sprints earlier in the day? So if you wanted to move it to three, two or three, or if that does mess up your schedule, because you know, it never hurt to check in with you guys. And I'm more than happy to work uh, sometimes I feel like we run into dinner time. So if that's a problem for anybody, please leave it in the comments and, and I will make adjustments. And I do plan on doing a live stream sometime in the morning or afternoon this week. Please, if you're subscribed, you'll get notice of that. All right, back to fun. All right, so fall is my favorite season for, for if you didn't hear. <laughs> I'm going to keep repeating it probably for the next two months. But look what I got. I got the, the, the sense of fall in a candle. Even if, I, if, even if I don't get it outside yet, it's vanilla frosting, apple pie, and cinnamon roll. I mean, technically it's not all folly, but it feels very fall. Do you guys like to do candles and, and good smelling? Like I like to get into the mode if when I'm doing writing or editing, I like, I set up my desk in a certain way. I light my candle, which is, you probably can't see it because I'm facing the the nice bookcase and not the nasty hallway. <laughs> oh, earthquake. <laughs> what else happened this week? Okay, so um, I'm going on a writer's retreat. Yay! And this is not like an official thing or anything, but uh, it's something I found is super motivating for me. Uh, one of my friends from a long time ago, like, we would watch like J.K. Rowling's when she was becoming quite, you know, famous doing her, you know, Harry Potter series. And when she wrote the last book, she actually rented a hotel room to finish it out because she was getting too many distractions from her family. So me and my friend were like, oh, that's a thought. I never thought about that because, you know, you figure you're at home, you should be able to write. But there's distractions. You got your animals, you got your kids, you got. Um, everyday things around you that draw your attention, things that you that you feel like need to be done or things that just, just distract you, things that are interesting, like other books or, or you know, your homework, <laughs> you know, it could be distracting. Who knows? Writing is more important now. Um, so... We decided because we needed, I was like, it took me like five years to finish my first book. Okay. You know, it, five years uh, because it took, I did three full rounds of edits and I totally rewrote parts of it because of some advice I got from somebody. This is before I learned how to take a, uh, I took a critique to heart. Every word of it I figured was absolute truth. And I changed the entire book to suit that one critiquer. She liked one of the side characters. And so I had to make him more of a main character. And uh, yeah, I've learned not to do that now, but it, it took a full five years ish to stop doing that kind of stuff. Um, but I learned and here I am. And I learned to take all critique with a grain of salt and see if there's more than one person saying the same thing about your work. Like this is confusing. This is confusing. Uh, I don't like this character and you got multiple people telling you that then, then you might have a problem just food for thought. But anyways, going back to the writing retreat, I have, um, did a cabin that's uh, a couple hours away. It's not like a big trip or anything, but it's still in nature. Um, there will be no internet or very little internet. So that week I might not be live streaming or for the couple of days I'll be away, but I will be getting back as soon as I do. And I will be notifying you when everything is, is set. And anyways, so I'm going to be away from the things of man with just my laptop and, and I'll be able to do my planning for the next quarter. 
I'm going to be able to do the outline for the third book and and get my promotional um, efforts ready to launch Cadet. And that's a lot. So I'm going to have to prioritize. <laughs> you got to find your priorities. But I think those are the things I'm going to be working on. And I'm going to do it without distractions. So yay, I'm excited. You guys ever do writing retreats? Have you ever considered doing writing retreats? I've needed it. Oh, critiques are bad. You just gotta, that's my best advice for you, for Chloe, for you, Chloe, is to keep in mind that not everyone, everything that everyone says is going to be 100%. Your voice counts. I mean, there's lots of books that would never have seen the light of day if they had listened to every critiquer. So what you want to do is see, have more than one person read it. And I know that's emotional and make sure that before you give them a whole book, I would say do a test run and give them the first chapter and see what kind of critique they do. Cause there's some good critique and there's some bad critique. Um, I don't like this is probably not the best critique. You probably want somebody who's willing to kind of give you some productive feedback and not just say this is bad or this is doesn't work or this is not the way we do it because there's multiple ways to do it. There's multiple ways of making your point or they might not like your genre specifically. So which you, this is just advice from somebody who's been through the critique. I've been in big groups. I've been one-on-ones. I've been on people who didn't, you know, get, like they would read the whole book and make five comments. So it's best to do a test run with these people, like do like a chapter, and, you know, and you do theirs and you could learn from there. If you do from, you learn from doing critiques of other people too. You learn. So I actually probably learned more from critiquing other people's work because it was easier to see passive voice or to see uh, where they didn't have any action, it was boring on their books. And then you can take that information and, and knowledge, and then when you're reading yours through, it becomes more evident where you're doing the same thing they are. So that's just some hopefully helpful information for you. Because uh, yeah, I struggled with getting critiques. I would, it would shut me down for like a good, I would be so, I was so emotionally attached to everything, but as you write more and more and you get to like become, um, you know, a more seasoned writer, it becomes less uh, painful. <laughs> now, occasionally I'll get a, re a review at Amazon. I just got one this week, funnily enough. I, I usually don't check them, but I got one this week. Oh, uh, and uh, he didn't like any anything. He only got like he DNFs and he uh, did not like he, any of it. Any of it. <laughs> I mean, some of the questions he brings up in the in the review were addressed by the end of the book, but obviously it did not capture his attention as it as it would. <laughs> oh, see, there you go. You guys should do it. Yay. See you guys. And then you guys can encourage each other. Just make sure you don't distract each other. Do the writing challenges like we're doing. Because that's fun too. So me and my friend did this in the hotel room and it was probably one of the most productive weekends I've ever had doing that. And we honestly just slept, ate and did it. And then we walked around a little bit, did some exercise. Getting, we just wrote and it was nice because every time I wanted to kind of slack, so it was like doing these sprints. Every time I kind of wanted to slack off, I'd see her still over there, click, 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 working hard. So it encourages you to do the same thing. So going with a buddy that you know is a dedicated person. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that, Shadowheart. No, don't give up. Um just because somebody doesn't give you the positive reinforcement that you need, because that's, you're not going to have, not everyone's going to love your book. I'm going to guarantee you that there's some books you don't love when you read them. It doesn't mean you personally dislike the author or it's a bad intrinsic story. It means that it didn't resonate with you. So keep in, keep that in mind when you're getting critiques, just because it didn't ring their bell <laughs> as it were. Uh, doesn't mean that it's not going to connect with the right people on your right group. 
Yeah, it does happen though. Just keep in mind. And if, if they're like a mean person too, like I've had really mean critiques, like, oh, is this for middle graders? <laughs> I had one guy tell me that one time and I'd be like, that one got me a little bit hot. And I usually just get sad, but that one got me a little, he was just trying to be snarky. Yeah. Hearts to all of you and critiquing is hard. Like I said, find a gentle, find a gentle soul or two and, and see if you're getting the same feedback. And like I said, do a trial run with them. Okay. That's enough talk. We're going into one hour and we've only done the big one sprint. So we're going to have to hit Pomodoro 2 here in a second. Pomodoro 2. I want to get this one. Now that we've warmed up, I want to see some competitions. I want to see what you're working with. I want to see your best efforts. Show me what you can do. First, before we get critiques, we have to get it written, don't we? and edited and ready. So editing is just as hard as writing. I don't know about for you guys, but for me, it usually is. I'm doing the easy one right now, but there's still some of these issues that's being brought up that I have to go back and do some really uh, thorough changes, but it's nothing big, so yay. <laughs> yay, absolutely. I would be more than happy to read some of your chapters. Beta reading is fun. It is a lot of work, though, when you find somebody. Uh, it's sometimes you find people. Okay, here's my pet peeve. <laughs> here's what grinds my gears. I'm sure you want to know. But when I'm doing a critique, and let's say I'm doing a critique for the same person more than once, which I have. I've had long time critique partners. But when you, when you mention something to them, and they just don't. And they're not required to take my advice. But I guess it bothers me if they're still doing the same mistakes over and over again, or if it's just like a pure grammatical mistake and you pointed it out to them like, oh, they overuse, of course, like hundreds of times. And I've had people who like crutch words, everyone's got crutch words, or eventually, comma, they did this. Or suddenly they did this. Like these are words. If you overuse them, it becomes quite apparent. So, and I would point that out to them. And then in the next book or the next story or whatever I would read, they'd still not put that in their bag of tools. So here's some, uh, here's one more piece of uh, unsolicited advice. Um, if you find one of your issues that that's giving you a hard time, and someone gives you a critique on it and you keep getting that same critique, make a note of it. And then when you're doing your edits, go, oh, yeah, I do do most of my sentences in this order, like noun, verb, subject, noun, verb, subject, noun, verb, subject, or, you know, whatever your crutch is, because we all have them. And then when you get done with one, you'll get a new one. So. No one will ever be the perfect writer. And that's the fun part, though, is because we can always improve. All right, where is my timer? Come back here. Let's reset you. All right. Ah -ah. Who's ready to rock and roll? It's a long way to the top if you're going to rock and roll. So if we're going to get to the top, I'm going to be rock and rolling and be the coolest cats in town, the Pam fam. Oh, the one, the only thing. Yep. And then you don't realize it while you're doing it because that's just like sounds right in, when you're doing the rough draft. But that's why we do edits. And now that you've realized that you have an issue with that, make an editing list. Like these are things I usually do. Like I usually use too much passive voice or I usually use eventually. And then when you're doing your editing, just go through the checklist. Did I check for eventually? Did I check for passive voice? Did I check... Uh, Margie Lawson does some good classes on, on editing and things. I learned a lot from her, but having an editing checklist of um, techniques of things to look for in your own work is one of those things I learned from her. So, all right, let's get the energy up. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Is everyone feeling it? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. 
<laughs> All right, kids, cats and kittens. We're about ready to hit it. Let's do, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Where are you? Timer. All right. Um, 25 on the clock. Word processors hot. You remember, you are being timed, children. This is a timed test. Be ready to limbo, Jimbo. And your mark. Get set. Go.
I got I got really into it. I did. I'm dead. Ah! Pomodoro too. It's in the bag. I might have woken up the cats. Anyways, how did you do? Share your numbers in the comments. Share your numbers in the comments. I would love to see how you did. I honestly got up to page 58. I have a lot more pages to go, but that's some solid progress for me because I'm mostly accepting all of the changes, but there's a few that I need to review, but I'm doing all right. I'm making headway and I would love to see what you're doing. Woohoo! Oh, Shadow, she brought the power. You brought the power. Yeah, she brung the power. Whoa, she brung the power. Yay. And this is when I wish I had been a high school cheerleader because then I could know how to properly cheer for you. Yay. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. You guys are twinsies. Within five words of you. Seriously, guys? Seriously? I mean, you're the sister from another mister, I'm guessing. I know you're Parabot, Parabot I, I always, I think I pronounced it wrong, but like you're, you're, you're the same soul split. I understand, but within five words, come on, Chloe, that's a tie. You have to give her a tie on that one. That was amazing. Unicorn horns for both y'all. Well done. Well done, guys. Well done. Proud of you. <laughs> you guys are amazing that is such good numbers look at how you're crushing you're crushing your goals how did everyone else do give me and even if you're watching this later i do read and respond to all of the comments so please leave your comments below and like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Um, I also get kind of crazy up on Instagram sometimes and I share lots of other, like my daily uh, crazy, my daily crazy, uh, lots of pictures of my cats and, and, and all that fun stuff. So I'm there probably most days to say hi. You guys, I think, yeah, you guys had a tie, but you know, wow, see, even distracted, you got 367, go squeeze them, go squeeze them. Go, go, go squeeze them. You are the champion. We are so doing well. I am not singing really well today. I'm sorry. I have to fi find my rhyme. I've not found it today. But yay! <laughs> and I'm feeling the power of this live stream. I'm feeling it, guys. You guys are sending me so much good energy and I can't stand it even without caffeine. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. We only got the, the chocolatey tea with a little mint, mint julep in there. And it's quite delicious. Making huge progress on my book and sending it into the final stages. You guys are so amazing. I can't even, you know what? Brainstorming. Go, Daya. Go, go, 
go, go, Daya, go, 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 Daya, go, 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 Daya, go, 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 Daya, go, 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 Daya. Oh, I think I just like saying your name a lot. <laughs> also, I'm so proud of you. you. You got for 25 minutes, you allowed your brain to work on something creative. And you know what? Your, your brain is going to thank you later. And you'll wake up in the middle of the night now with even more of that information. Because once you start the creative process, your subconscious mind jumps on that train. Jumps on it. And then you'll come up with solutions that you didn't thought. You never thought. And the more you write, the better you get and the faster you get. So awesome. Awesome. Your words per minute are killing me, guys. You're doing also awesome. Okay. All right. It looks like we're going to have to do another sprint here to break the boys, the girls from the girls and the boys from the girls and see who reigns this, this lovely live stream supreme. Who shall do the live scene supreme and grab the unicorn of success, which is bestowed upon all of our winners who worked hard during this last sprint. The unicorn horn is for everybody. Your positivity will pierce the sky. Are you guys ready to focus again? Okay, so it looked like from the comments I was reading that you guys are pretty much down to do live streams on a variable basis. Therefore, just be watching your, your subscription notices because I'm probably going to try another early morning and then probably an afternoon during the week, the week after. So I'm just trying to feel creativity when I need to get done. So, um, and when I can make sure I'm available for you to be motivating and helpful. And I want to get a few more in before I have to take my little trip up north or to my writing retreat and make sure that you guys are all set and uh, start thinking about what we can be doing for Preptober. I don't know. Which are, are any of you doing NaNoWriMo this year or do you know? Because I am 100% doing NaNoWriMo this year. I will not probably hit my word goal because I work is super busy during the beginning and uh, of November for me, but I will make, I will do a valiant, but valiant effort to catch up and I'll be doing more regular streams all during October and November and the rest of September. So at least until the end of the year, we'll be doing these wonderful live streams. So I'm excited. You guys all did amazing during that last sprint. I'm so stinking proud of you all. Yay. What else did I work on this week? Oh, newsletter. All right. So I need to be more positive about doing a newsletter. That's this. Uh, it's one of those things that no nano. Okay. Well, I'm glad that, you know, that you're still going to be here to support us. I'm sure you have something to work on during those time, those sprints. Um, I'm going to try to bust out book three in my uh, Space Cadet series, and that's going to be super duper fun. Um, if I can get my outlining done in October. So that's what I'll be working on in October. But for this month, we're still finishing up the book two. And I might be, like I said, putting off the launch of that because of work situation. So then I'll have book two done and ready to launch. And then book three at least started. So that'll be a good marketing plan, hopefully. <laughs> I need to be more serious about it if I ever want to be independent uh, writer and make this my business. Oh. But I struggled with camp on its own. Yeah. We still come to the live streams. I mean, it is a good way of still motivating yourself. And uh, I enjoy the trying to get 50,000 words in one month. I mean, I've actually got 60 or 70 in a month before, but it's not like a regular basis. <laughs> and it's like a muscle again, like you keep using these live streams and I'll bet your daily word count will start going up. The more live streams with me and other people that you want to do. Uh, I applied to do the worldwide uh, 
write-a-thon uh, in October. So I don't know if I'm going to be accepted. So I'm really hoping so. Even if I'm not, I'm still going to be doing our live stream because Pam Fam deserves to have your time. But I'm hoping that maybe, you know, we can invite more people to the group and join into the worldwide. Worldwide. Yes, every time we do this is worldwide. So it's all good. Exciting adventure. Yeah, it, nano can be both positive and negative. If if it's something too beyond, like a uh, like let's say a lot of people are in school, or they it's their busy time at work, or they're getting ready for the holidays, it's just not the best time for them. But for me, I just always something about fall makes me want to just cuddle up with a hot drink and put an afghan around my shoulders and just dream and and just write whatever comes into mind. And it just, ah, I guess I romanticize it a bit because it was the first time I finished a novel was during NaNoWriMo. And I never going to publish that novel, but I think I always associate that feeling to NaNoWriMo because that's, it, it made me into a real writer in my mind. I finally said, I'm a real writer after I did my first NaNoWriMo. So I finished something. <sighs> I don't know. Yay! Worldwide write a thon with Pam Fam. Let's do it. Regardless, we're going to do it. Yeah. NaNoWriMo is hard. But we can work our way up to it if you decide to do it. And if not, I'll still be here. I'll still be sprinting. I'll be sprinting to the end of the year for sure. And then Lord knows what the future holds beyond that. I, uh, I'm i enjoying these a lot, though. I During the lockdown, honestly, I just wanted some way to connect with other people. And I missed writing. And this has been wonderful. I've loved meeting you all and, and doing this together. So, all right. Looks like we have time for one more big sprint. And then we can be ready for dinner. And my cats are sleeping. So win, win, win. I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? I'm feeling it. This is it. This is where we got one winner, uh, Chloe, one tie, and then uh, let's see who, who, who will be the, win the battle of the stream. Everyone is... Uh, allowed to participate in this and I will encourage you all but it's fun to watch you guys battle battle away and then we got this going what else can we get going here all right all right all right uh there we go okay who is down to clown ready to go are we focused up do you need a drink can you hit the ladies or boys room? I got a drink warmer. And you know what that means? You can see, I don't know if you can see the like the heat coming off of this, but look, it's still hot. It's the small things in life, okay? Hot tea. Oh yeah, baby. I'm feeling it. One more time, guys. One more time. Pomodoro three. Everybody? Anybody? Ready, ready, ready? All right. 25 on the clock. Your lovely words are up in any form that you want, any creativity that you want. It is time. It is time. And I wish I had kept track of everyone's word counts, but yeah, share at the end. I want to see everyone's like total word count for the stream or progress. So if you've been reading your book or if you've been doing uh, editing, like how many pages you got through, it'd be interesting to see how much you get done in two hours with, with a motivating clock behind you. You'll find that it's probably some of your most productive time. Just saying, just saying. All right, let's do it. I'm ready. And we shall battle one last time for all of us, for the horn, 
for the mountain, for the writing, for our futures. This is where we sweat, guys. This is where we pay the price and have fun doing it. All right. Oh, and this is my catchphrase of the week. Persistence overcomes resistance. So we just keep persisting. So even if you're struggling a little bit and you're watching this later, you're watching this now and you're not chatting, but I appreciate you. I see you. And I am hoping that you will keep trying because you keep persisting. You will eventually win against resistance. So you can do this. All right, let's focus, guys. Focus up, focus up. Last sprint of the night. On your mark. Get set. <gasps> Sprint. Ah!
Oh, there we are. There we are. And time. Time, time. I feel like a song from the 60s. Time. How did you do? Bum, bum, bum. How did you do? Do, do, do. How did you do? I got up to page. This is for the entire stream. 110 of adding the edits and i am mega proud that's up to chapter 20 so bam bam live stream you helped me be very successful today so thank you thank you barb and Shadowheart and chloe and quisms and rose and daya and everyone who's helping me today and all the people who don't sometimes pipe up I appreciate your, I feel your energy. I know that's kind of woo-woo, but I'm a bit of a woo-woo person. Yay, she's going to do nano. All right. 
You know, what do you find that is mo the biggest struggle for you during NaNoWriMo? Is it the actual amount of words or is it producing on a regular basis? Because I know some people that are just sprint writers. Um, and then some people need to have the daily write. And I think the NaNoWriMo kind of marries those two because it kind of forces you to write faster than you normally would. And also on a regular basis, which it kind of goes from like, I never had a job in my life to working a day job every day. After you've done a few, it really kind of clicks in, but, oh, she got really distracted. 395. Okay. This is your chance, Channel Heart. What did you get? Where are you? Where's the rest of my people? Where did you get, Squizums? Daya, if you're still here. Tina, are you out there doing your words? Whoa, Squizum, look at you go. Rock on with your bad self. Shadow Heart. Woo! All right, we're at dead tie now. We had Chloe win one. We had Shadow win one, and we had a tie. So, yay, girls. My little twins did so good. You guys did so good. And look at Squizum, man. King of the, king of the stream. The unicorn of success. And you, you should be doing like your march across the room now. Here, I'm bestowing upon you. Here you go. Ah! I should make it like a unisex. It, unicorns are unisex. So <laughs> this works for everybody, okay? You all did fantastic. I'm just going to say uh, you did like... That you did almost a nano pace there, Shadowheart and Chloe, and everyone who was doing words. I'm sure you got lots of research done and editing and listening to your audiobooks or whatever you needed to do. I'm having to do that too. This weekend, I, I got the uh, rough draft uh, back of my audiobook. So this is my first time having to do that. So I get to listen to that this weekend. So that should be fun. Actually, it'll take me a few days to get through it and go slow enough to take notes and things, but I'm very really excited. Conscript is going to be an audiobook. No days off. Yeah, that is the problem. Um, what I've done the same thing, and once you miss a day or two, it's just so hellaciously painful to get back. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, no. Um, so for NaNoWriMo, let's say uh, what I do if I know I have to have a day off, and Sarah Cannon over on her channel suggests this too, but you kind of plan for days off. So instead of just doing the 1,667 or whatever the word count is, I believe it's 1,667. So if you know you you, you're going to be at grandma's house during Thanksgiving or you're going to be out of town. So then you're like, okay, so I only have 30, 25 days of the 30 that I can actively write. So instead of just doing 1,667, you do 1,800 or you do 2,000 a day to make up for those days. So then it's not so painful. <laughs> the crown, she has lost the crown, the unicorn horn of success. I mean, we could split it like a, a three-way uh, unicorn of success, but yeah, fair is fair though. You both, you, you both fought hard and I, I, I tip my, my horn to the, everyone worked hard and thank you so much for coming and supporting me and supporting each other because this is a lonely, hard job. And after the week I've had, this is just a breath of fresh air of positive, happy people who are following their dreams. And I want you to be one of them and continue to be one of them. Yeah. Oh, was the first one you've ever done? Okay, well, don't let that discourage you then. The first one is always the hardest. Um, come up with strategies and try again, because honestly, it's a very positive experience if you can work around your strengths. Like if you um, have extra time on the weekends or something, make sure you do like do double word count days like do a two hour sprint in the morning and a two hour sprint in the afternoon, like on a Saturday. And then you've kind of made buffer words for the rest of the week. So 
those are some ideas. Maybe we'll go over more of that in Preptober so that if you decide to do it, then you'll have some tools in your toolbox again. Yes, there's enough, there's enough crowns for everybody. I got tiaras go around in crowns. Okay, so anybody can win this live stream. You are winning by showing up. Yay, thank you. Yay, I'm very, I'm super duper excited. It's gonna, I'm gonna try to launch it around the same time I'm doing my second book in the series. So hopefully it'll add momentum to the writer career so that I can slide into being more of a uh, entre or what is it, entrepreneur. Yes, that is the goal. The goal is to be an entrepreneur. Okay, this is a fun quote that I read. It was in Make Time. And I'm, I finished this book. I don't actually read these books all the way through every word. I just take, uh, I go through and find like different techniques and hacks and things. But here's a quote for you. Um, Do not ask yourself what the world needs. Ask yourself what makes you come alive. And then go and do that. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. And that's by Howard Thurman. And I, this really resonated with me, gave me a, quite the little boost during my rough work, work week. So it might not be perfect, but yay. I want you all to be queens and kings, and you are for showing up. All right, and I think that um, we're past six o'clock and I need to eat, and my kitties are starting to wake up and want dinner as I, as I do. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. I am definitely going to do a live stream during the week, probably in the early morning, and I'll be back on Saturday, maybe a little bit earlier. We'll see how it goes uh, so that we can even do a little bit longer because I know I'm going to have work to do, and I know you will too. As a writer, the homework never ends. Oh, you're welcome, guys. Yay. Yeah, and your birthday. I am so excited. Oh, thank you. All right, tune in next time when we'll be crowning more kings and queens and giving out, what? Look at that, look at that. Look at that, in two hours, you did an amazing job. Homework that never ends, yes. it's But you know, I was always that kid that didn't mind doing homework as long as like, I, I like it was English, so or homework I liked, so this is the kind of homework I can deal with. Well, thank you. Remember to stay positive this week. Focus on your writing. Keep your eyes on your own paper. Um, stay motivated. Jump on the streams. Um, I'm hoping to see you again next this week, and uh, follow me on Instagram and different places if you want more of this. <laughs> okay. I love you all. I honestly do. This makes my whole weekend worthwhile. I just super appreciate you being here for me. So thanks again. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful weekend. Right on right now. Yay, dinner time. Woo! See you next time. Bye.